Howdy folks, how are we doing? We are back at Luton Airport, as you can probably tell by the, um, the jet spalling up in the background. And the fast track is done! Look at that! Actually, it's not mine, is it? 3185. Looks like a factory fit front linkage on it. Sure it is. That would definitely be a factory fit, which is very unusual for a 185. Um... <laughs> Oh no, what are they? Yes. There's one for the U ton more. <laughs> Set of cleavers on it, look at that. How lovely are they? Set of cleavers. Could do with the old um, wheels doing, a bit like mine. Well, that gives you a slight hint as to what this fast track, fast track has been doing and the fact that the, the airport is just over there. On the Luton Airport. So obviously these come out, they do the gritting, ploughing, you know, in the winter, when it does snow, if it ever does snow. But what a nice tractor. Linkage has been used, but, you know, like them, um, the pickup lift arms, they often get bent, but they're perfect, they are. They haven't done a lot of work, is it? Brakes, yeah, I could do some new discs on it, I think. But what a nice straight tractor. My guards are all good. Cab glass is all good. And if she's open. She's open. It's wonder. Yeah. We haven't got a key to find out how much, uh, to find out how many hours she's done, but that's pretty, you know, it's you know, a bit of water damage up there on the headlining, but it's a pretty straight tractor, isn't it? Obviously, they've got the dash out for some reason for it. There's obviously, she's got a bit of a problem, but. Uh, um, yeah, just a good old, you know, tractor in its working clothes lot. Yeah, that's right, the old arms are took a bit of a beating, isn't they? A lot a bit bent in places, but that's a, just a nice straight tractor, that isn't it? Anyway, we better go and have a look and see how my tractor's coming along. There has been more progress on it, so we'll go and have a look. So the box is literally going back together now. John and Tom are putting, uh, what's that, the tobacco plate on, John, isn't it? Yeah, the cover plate for that. Yeah. Wet clutch. <clears throat> so that needs to get that dropped in today. Um, so that'll be, you know, that'll be a real big step, get that back in. And see, Tom's got the new head in. Um, whilst he was in there, he had a little pistons all fine in there, so that's all good, so, um, yeah, so new head, so we ain't got no issues with that anymore. This is the old one. Now you can see, look, you see where I'll gunk these up, put the old spunk on them to get them to seal. That's the one where the tab had broke, that should be the same as that, you see, but that broke off. Um, so it was a case of, do you muck about with that, or do we just spend the money? And actually, not that much money, really. Um, and get a new one on there. So we've got a new one on there. Same with the manifold. Um, again, that come from Arms Plant. This is the old one. We had a look, and they said it's going to take you. Know, it's going to cost as much to get that up to spec as it would as buying a new one. So hence, we've bought a new one. Because um, I mean, look at them surfaces, um, they're horrendous, aren't they? Lot so, um, so we're not going to bother with that over here. We've got the manifold from Arms Plant, so there we go. We've got a brand new manifold there, lot. There you go, that looks better, doesn't it? So, what that on, so there'll be no issues. Turbo is fine, there's, there's no play in that lot, so that is good. So we ain't gonna muck about with that. Injectors are off, um, being tested at the minute, so if there's any dodgy ones in there, they'll get fixed. Um, same with the pump, pump as well. So, yeah, things are progressing nicely, they really are. Um, yeah, a bit of luck should be, you know, too much longer before she's running. Um, 
the one last job is the spool valve. Remember that bro brown one that powers the. Let's go around the back. If you remember, I tapped in top of the block here. There you go. That's the brown spool, and I tapped in there with the pipe that runs all the way to the front, up the steel pipes here, and then comes in here, and that powers the front linkage. And that was the one that was slightly dodgy, and then I uh, sort of packed up all together, so the front linkage was unusable as well. So, um, um, so get that sorted. She'll have three working spool valves, and uh, it should be good. So, <laughs> look what I've found. Even more of them. So, what? Let's see what we got. What, what, what we got? What we got? Right. Thirty-one seventy. Could all be thirty-one seventy. Thirty-one seventy. Thirty-one seventy. Another thirty-one seventy, and another thirty-one eighty-five. So this one, this one looks a bit mm, poor spec, well, a bit poor condition, bit of rust. But again, like I said, uh, with that first one, <clears throat> all they've done is salt work, like so. Unless they get washed off every day, the old salt's going to affect them, isn't it? So yeah, look at all the carriers for the mud guards, all bit of rust on it. But I mean. Nothing that can't be sorted, lot. Windows hanging out of that one a bit. Wheels all knackered. What have we got on here? Trellies on that one. But, um, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, these have all got the, no front linkage, but they've got the brackets for the ploughs on the front. So, um, yeah, because these would have had ploughs on the front and then obviously gritters on the back, I would have think. So, um, it's all got quite yeah upgraded led lighting obviously which i'd probably need wouldn't they so but yeah they swapped all all what was this one two three four all six of these in uh for an icon you know 42 20 icon so um but uh these will have a market you need guitars on them well again so they put them on these are knockers um and they wouldn't have done a lot of work would they like so but um you know let's have a look around the back the thing with these 170s, because the 170 is a bit like mine, mine's obviously an aspect one, but yeah, there you go. Um, these are the utility specs, so you get the fifth wheel on the back. Um, so it would take a bit of work to you know, turn these into aspect machines, because you've obviously got a source of three-point linkage for it, get rid of all the fifth wheel there. Um, you want to upgrade the wheels, because what are they? They're 16.9 R24s. So does that mean these are 80k? I don't know to be fair. Um, but uh, yeah, apart from that, they're all, you know, not gonna be brand new. Really are. So, but um, yeah, whether these, with the, <coughs> just trying to think, with the, with the fifth wheels, they have, um, they might have, I have seen them with toad behind plows as well. Like, um, um, you know, a big sort of big, a real big offset plow on the back lot, like whether they, they must have them on the fifth wheel or not. But uh, yeah, again, all spec with the carriages on the front part from one of them. Right, so what we got? Well, essentially, it's very similar to mine, although again, it's you know, it's a lot you know, lower spec lot. Like. Um, so let's run a 24 volt system on it for. Um, I don't know what actually, but yeah, Luton Airport fast track snow plows to operate snow plow. Green spool, valve lever forward, pivots the plow to the left. Green spool, valve lever rearward, pivots the plow to the right. Blue spool, forward, lowers the plow down. Blue valve, blue spool, rear, raises the plow. Lower the plow fully to the ground. Push both blue, green levers fully forwards, obviously, to put it in float then. But uh, yeah, obviously running CBs. Uh, that'd be is that your? I oh, know that'd be twelve. That's twelve volt. You can get a sunroof in it, look. There you go. Let all the crap in. There you go. That's a good sign of what they've been doing. Look at the pedals. Where obviously the operator's got in with salty boots, and uh, you can see where the old salters had to go at the pedals as well. So just um, an indication of the life they've had, but other than that, other than the rust, you know, these are in extremely good nick. Again, look at the passenger seat, 
absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Same as the seat I'm on, really. Again, I haven't got a key on me, otherwise I would um, just see how many hours I've done. But, um, you know, John says they're like a few hundred lot. So, there you go. It'd be a good little buy for someone, wouldn't it, lot? If you've got a spare three-point linkage hanging around. So there we go. John and Tom are cracking on with the old fast track. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be too much longer. So the list is, obviously they're going to get the gearbox back in, um, waiting for the injector pump and injectors to come back um, from Tunit Diesel Performance. Um, so they'll be good. Obviously they've got the new head on there, the new manifold, it's got to go on. Um, we've got, um, then John's going to sort the brown spool out so that works. And about there. Oh, put some new filters on. Oh, I want some handbrake pads. He's going to do that while he's um, while he's doing it. Um, so yeah, some engine oil. Yeah, obviously I'll put some. Yeah, drop the engine oil out. Put new new oil in. New filters, and uh, and we'll be laughing. Then we'll be able to sell that and buy this. <laughs> what do you reckon? That is smart though, isn't it? Look, 51 plate. Yeah. You imagine how we sort of. New set of tyres and wheels. You know, you imagine there with the, you know, my wheels and tyres on a lot. That's smart. Take the London Luton Airport off it. But, uh, yeah, no. Smart track that'll do someone well, that was. Four spools as well. No, she ain't, sorry, three. Three. Maybe in the plonger, because that is a um, return to tank, that is. She is smart. Anyway, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that little vid. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!